Hai semua. Okay, so hari ini Jasmine nak cuba buat durian pancake yang senang yang korang boleh buat kat rumah dan ramuan-ramuan dia semuanya simple sahaja. I went on this website called whisk and fold.com di mana I nak buat durian pancakes. So apparently this one makes about 10 pancakes. So kita ada plain flour, rice flour, baking powder, fine sugar, coconut milk dengan durian flesh. So ini adalah ingredients jasmine. So we will just see. So apa dia kata? Plain flour. I pun tak tahu apa tu plain flour. Ha ini tepung gandum. I ada apa tu uh, tepung pulut. I don't know whether this is rice flour or not. But oh it is rice flour. Look at that. Yay, tepung pulut. So I got this baking powder. Kita pun ada okay, don't look at my Tupperware. It looks so dirty and ugly. Tapi ini adalah sugar. So dia orang kata kat sini, apa dia orang kata kat sana eh? Eh, mana pula? Alanta ah, fine sugar. Yeah, there you go. Fine sugar. So I pun tak tahu kalau ini fine sugar which I don't think is fine sugar but whatever. And ini adalah coconut milk. Ingat tak masa dulu Jasmine pernah buat satu video uh, durian. <laughs> so this is the durian yang I uh, I tak habis hari tu and I bawa balik. So I letak dalam freezer as you can see all the ice. So today we going to make durian pancakes. So yeah, these are your ingredients. Alright, so when I was googling this recipe, I forgot about one, two major things, which is mesin timbang, which is you know the weighing machine to weigh my flour, and I pun tak ada apa tu orang kata uh, measuring cup. So kita tak apa, kita akan buat sesuka hati kita based on our intuition. And kawan I kat sini yang tengah pegang kamera dia tu pakar buat kek lapis. So siapa siapa nak boleh order through Jasmine, boleh DM Jasmine kat Instagram, nanti Jasmine akan pass order tu kat kawan, ok? Kek lapis rawa. Alright, let's continue. So, I've not used the pong bullet before. Ok, so if you guys can see here, they say 90 grams of plain flour. So, I tak tahu 90 grams tu apa. And it says mix 10 pancakes. So, hanya ada dua orang kat rumah Jasmine sekarang, I dengan kawan I. So, kita hanya akan buat dua pancake. This is my calculator. So, 90 gram eh. 90 gram dah dibahagikan 10. So, it's 9 gram. So, kalau kita nak buat dua pancake je. So, we just need 18 gram. I don't even know what is 18 gram. 18 gram is how much ah? Um, two spoon? Two spoon eh. <laughs> 18 gram is two spoon eh. I have no idea. Uh, this is agak-agak lah. We go the agak-agak way. Agak-agak eh? Yeah, agak-agak. Okay, okay, okay. I thought this would be my sifting bowl. Tapi, you know, hmm. I don't have a sifting bowl too. I tak pernah baking kat rumah I. So, what I'm gonna do is, I have, I punya kuali <laughs> as my sifting bowl. So, you know, we do what we can. Two, two eh? Two lah. I sekut, dua kot. Uh, you know what? We'll just do three. I think three is fine, right? I think so. Okay. Maybe this is 20 grams. I don't know. Whatever. So it's, it's in my basket. So cute. I look at some baking stuff I got seen. Huh? Image of baking stuff I had. Whatever. Okay. Sekarang ni 40 gram rice flour. 40 gram. Kalau 40 gram divided by 10. It's 4 gram for one person. So kita akan buat untuk dua orang. So 8 gram. Oh shoot! Oh my god! So we had the measurement wrong. Sepatutnya 90 gram plain flour. Alma, sorry, sorry. Let me just put this back. Oh my god! How do I put this back? Okay. My tepung plain flour is 90 gram. So plain flour you tepung gandum you kena lebih dua kali ganda daripada you punya. Um, rice flour. So I think my rice flour is enough. Never mind lah lantak ah. Boleh lah, boleh lah. So yang tadi tu I letak rice flour. So that's only 40 gram of rice flour. So we need like double which is plain flour. Why is my plain flour kuning ah? It's supposed to be kuning right? It's a little bit slightly yellow. Is it? So yeah. it's supposed to be yellow. So it's yep. macam expired lah. Tak. Tadi I letak 3 tablespoon of um, 
you know, floor. So sepatutnya you patut safe lah kan, filter kan. Tapi sepatutnya yes. tak ada. Yeah, I don't have. Oh, is this considered a safe floor? Can I use this? Yes, you can. I can. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. I think we can shift this one to this bowl. Oh, okay. Yes. So how do we do that? Oh, like this. Like this? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so kita shift. Ah. Woo! We can just scoop it. Yep. I'm just gonna scoop it. You guys, if you wanna like bake. Oh, shit. Why am I so. Oh my god, I'm such a terrible sui ruma. You know. I tried to be a good housewife, whatever. But how do you save? Like this is this is how you save. This is how you save. Mm. But it's not coming down. Oh my god! How long is it gonna take to do this? You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Much, much later. This is my sifting. So this is gonna take a while, guys. So see you later. Much, much, much later. So I've given up trying to sift. So hari ni, kawan Jasmine, which is Doreen kat, kat sini, is going to help me to sift. Ini adalah cara untuk kita sifting ya, kalau guna benda yang kecil. Maaflah Jasmine ni tak pernah baking pun kat rumah. Selalunya beli ataupun kawan je yang beli kan. Tapi lantaklah kan, apa-apa je yang boleh guna kat rumah, kita guna je lah. Alright, so we will see you in what I would say 10 minutes later. Yeah, nasib kita buat untuk dua orang je. Kalau untuk sebelian orang, hmm, mati. A little longer than a few minutes later. Soalan Jasmine sekarang adalah kenapa kita patut, you know, sift the flour? Because honestly, like what's the difference? Okay, so you see, sometimes the flour, you have something like pepper jow ni. So it's very hard to mix or to... Mix uh, evenly inside when you put the water in or milk or everything, so it will become like a lot of pepper jar and very hard to stir, oh. so it become not even, not smooth. I see, mm. I see. You know, I forgot one step. We're actually supposed to sift the baking powder too, but we'll do it later. So, yay! We're on our last batch. Woohoo! Later. It did a sift the. Uh, tepung gandum dengan rice flour so kita lupa satu lagi step is to sift the baking powder so I ada baking powder kat sini so dia orang kata untuk 10 pancake kena ada half teaspoon baking powder tapi sebab kita buat untuk 2 orang je so half teaspoon half or 10 maybe so, just a quarter so quarter so I can letak ni and I'm gonna put it in my whatever and then just Honestly, it makes no difference for me to sift. Like, it's still kosong. Now, is we're gonna stir in sugar, coconut milk. Okay, so kita kena pindahkan ini kepada kat sini. So, sebab I perlukan, kuali, uh, you know, like a big bowl. I tak ada, so I guna kuali. So, I'm gonna have to move this one in here. And then, sekarang ni, I have to put in sugar. So, 60 gram fine sugar. Divided by 10 is 6 times by 2, 12. Lantak lah. I actually don't even know. So, we will use... Is it enough? If you like to be sweeter, we can put 2. 2? Yes. You want sweet ah? I don't want it good enough. Let's be healthier. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes. Right, just lah. Okay. And then coconut milk, 200 ml. So, 200 ml di, di, di bahagikan 10. Alamak, alamak. 200, you know, divided by 10 is 20. Kita buat untuk 2 orang. So, it's 40. Inilah 200. I tak tahu apa tu 200. So, we have to put 40. So, oh! Oh, 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 Oh. oh my god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm so so sorry! Um, yeah, I have to pick it up. Shit. Okay. Eh, kenapa dia tak tu eh? Until batter is smooth and thin it out. Okay, so diorang kata, kalau masih ada lump, you know, like all this. Yeah, you see all this lump? Then I have to... Oh, I can smell! Um, you guys, it's like quite legit. Like quite legit, you know? Nampak macam betul-betul yang... 
tepung yang kita kita makan yang macam apa tu eh gula melaka punya kuih tu apa tu yang yang warna hijau tu hmm you guys i think it's gonna be cool i mean boleh boleh jadi boleh jadi we have to put one tablespoon of water oh You see all these lumps macam pejar-pejar kan? So maksudnya kita punya cecair tak cukup. So I'm going to add like one table because I said one tablespoon at one time. So let's try and mix it. Uh, kalau masih tak cukup. Actually I don't know how it's supposed to be like to be honest. So I think I'm going to add some more water. One tablespoon. Kat internet nampak senang. Tapi bila nak buat semua susah. Ayo, okay wait, I need to go and see again how. Nampak sangat perfect kan dia orang buat. Ayo, pastinya. Kenapa lah kita tak ada ingredient macam tu eh? Okay, so you know what? We're gonna have to add more water, guys. This is like not happening. <laughs> Should I just add all? So I tak ada. I don't have a whisker. So I'm just gonna use this. Ayo, susahnya. You guys, you guys need to get a whisker, man. Like, oh, this is too hard work. I'm gonna show you my muscle when I do this. Like, if I'm gonna like flex my muscle, can you see? I think I'm in love. It's still not happening. It's still not liquid. Should I add more water? I think we can add some more coconut milk. Oh, really? Otherwise, it'll be too bland. Okay, this is the agak-agak recipe. <laughs> okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. But it's still so thick. Okay, I think we can add more water. You rasa? Seek it. Just Sikit. a little bit of water. It'll be good enough. Really? It has to be the runny texture. The thick runny. Okay. Almost there, almost there. Siapa kata ini untuk breakfast? Ah, ini macam untuk dinner sudah. Oh, you guys, I think we're like really there. Look, is it? Almost. Nasib ada kawan yang pandai buat kek lapis kan? Like, I mean, kan macam ni kalau dia buat. Much, much later. So, ini adalah final texture dorang, which is you can see like that. Yeah, so that's the final texture for pancake. So, we have pancake dorang. So, next step adalah kita patut let the batter rest for 30 minutes at room temperature over or overnight. If you want overnight, you can put it in the fridge. Tapi kalau korang guna macam kat, kat kitchen you ke, then you know, you just leave it for 30 minutes. And you're supposed to like use this. Oh, not whatever. Okay, and then let it rest for 30 minutes. Okay, so I move it into a smaller batter so I don't use so much of my Ziploc bag. So you tinggalkan dia untuk 30 minutes. Alright, so sekarang pergi enjoy the TV. Hey Jasmine, uh. I think we need to keep this coconut milk lah. Otherwise, it'll spoil. How am I? How do you keep it? Eh, I don't know lah. Like this but, kind, right? Uh, eh, I don't know. But usually people would have to conserve it within uh, one or two days after opening it. What should we do? Mm, staple it. Huh? Staple, staple. Can staple, can staple. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. My goodness, this is... I mean, staple it. The, the air won't go in, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Right. First time I hear people say stop. Boleh lah, boleh lah, boleh lah. No, I mean, apa I nak buat, kan? You know, if you have this, you can see the expiry date. And then, if I put it into a container, it's like... Why would I want to put in a container where I can staple it? Like, it's so simple to staple. And see, there is no ruang kosong untuk like air to go in and ruin of coconut milk, so I can still use it, right? Uh. Huh? Dorin can right? Huh? First time I hear this kind of logic, oh. Yeah, okay, can, can, can. Kalau tak pun, if not, you just get sakit perut, and then you just go to the toilet like twice. 
And that's it. Are you serious? Yeah. While kita tunggu kita punya battle for 30 minutes. So, sekarang adalah 4.50. Wow. Gram. This is actually a more than 50 year old traditional snack. I mean, just ignore that tepung on the on the phone, but it's like a 50. Can you see that? Ooh. You guys, we're doing like kita punya nenek moyang punya tradisi traditional recipe tau. So siapa siapa yang tengok bolehlah try recipe ni untuk you know cuba untuk you punya anak atau boyfriend you know. Um, so this is called durian apom. Durian apom punya durian pancake ni kita ni dah. So durian ni dah freeze. So I've unfreezed it. <laughs> they said that I have to blender it, but I don't want to blend it. So but nanti blender and bow. I think you guys, I can just take this. All right, I'll get me and I'll me. How many do I'm supposed to use? Like they said, three hundred gram. So three hundred. Kalau kita buat ada dua orang, that means it's thirty gram per person. So that means sixty gram. So sixty gram just now is two tablespoons that we put up like two gram, two tablespoons of durian. Four tablespoons of durian, really? Oh no, I feel so. Can we just eat the durian and then just put less durian in our pancakes? But I have a feeling that we won't eat the pancake. <laughs> I'm hungry la. Okay, I'll buy you a lorry of durian. <laughs> I've washed my hands guys, so... Is this correct how you take out the durian? I would take it out the same way. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so I'm nearly done. So yang ni kita boleh makan. I'm just gonna eat the leftover later. So keep it. This is enough, right? Yes. For the pancake, yes. Yeah, okay. <sighs> so Dorin, apa kita nak buat? Like let's say we don't wanna like blender them. What, do, what should I do? Should I just whisk it? You can use a fork and smash them. Smash them, right? Yes, to make sure that they are creamy. Sekarang ni, sepatutnya kita nak blender lah. Tapi sebab Jasmine tak nak guna blender Jasmine untuk blender durian. Sebab, I don't know, I just feel like the smell will just stay there forever. So, apa yang I buat adalah I guna uh, garfu. And then mm. I... So, it's a bit hard because it was like, you know, in the freezer. But, is, it, is, that, is that how we're supposed to do it? Yes. Or do I have to like? Okay, konong konong korang tengah makan western steak, whatever. So this is what you guys do, yeah. Nah, kalau korang tak ada blender kat rumah ataupun korang macam Jasmine, tamak dia macam, you know, um, bau ke apa ke kan? Sebab I think durian smell can last in the blender for quite some time. I have a feeling. So and I cannot touch it a So I'll just use this. And then, do I have water? No, right? No. And then I just press it. This is how I press it. This is how I press it. This is how I press it. And then I bought matcha me. Just to make it really small. You know, I mean, if this is for like masakan kat rumah, you know, it doesn't have to be so perfect. <laughs> I think this is fine. So Jasmine dah dah lepas 30, 30 minit. So I've done my pancake batter which is this one. Ah, uh, tengok tu. It's so legit. You know, pancake. And then I put the whisk, I put you know, um, durian. So it's not so much because it's only going to be for two people. And I put the panas kan I put kuali. I love this kuali so much. Because it's so cute. And so we're supposed to pour in like minyak. Uh, so I normally use olive oil because you know it's more healthy to eat. And hari ni Jasmine pakai apron untuk masak sebab I takut sebab durian kan dia akan macam bau. So... So I'm going to put one tablespoon of oil. Okay. Okay, so dah panas. So we're supposed to just get one ladle. Okay, this is one ladle. So 
So okay you guys, so next time kalau korang nak buat, mungkin kurangkan you punya uh, you know, kurangkan you punya minyak. Actually you need a brush, but I don't have a brush. So this one will do. So sekarang ni, I punya bubble belum keluar. But it's so oily, oh no. It's so oily, right? Yes. It's so sedih. Should I make a new batter? Should I can't take this one out? Do you want to take it out? I just feel it's not perfect. Okay, let's try again. So should we take this out? Yes, let's try again. Okay, so I'm gonna, you guys, I'm gonna take this out because it's too bominya. I don't like it. Actually, it's okay, you know. Are you sure? This is so oily. Oily, right? Yes. So I'm gonna like throw this into here. Okay. I think now we can do it just here. Okay. okay. Mm, looks better. Yeah. Make sure the heat is in medium. Yeah. Yes. You don't want to burn it. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay, so I don't know where my bubble went. Sepatutnya bila kuah tu, I mean that batter ada bubble kan, you letak. So anyway, whatever, we're just gonna put this in. And then kita biar dia melt je. So let's put this here. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> oh. Do you need to fold the pancake over? Is it time to fold it over? So, we had an accident whereby camera Jasmine ran out of battery. So I had to charge it. And so when I was charging it, I let this off the fire. So it's now very keras. Um, <laughs> and yeah. I think we are trying to turn it internal. Ah. Yes. Internal. Right. Okay, let's, let's, let's zoom let's in. Let's see. Hey, it's not bad, you know. But I think we need to like make it more... Tunggu dia lebih uh, hot. I think it's already dry up. Oh, really? Yes. Try to so. just fold it. Uh -huh. So it looks like a roti canai. Eh, bukan macam pancake. I rasa salah Jasmine adalah sebab guna uh, glutinous rice flour. Glutinous rice flour in Malay is what? Pulut. Pulut. Tepung. Mm. Yeah. So basically you guys just need a tepung gandum and then tepung, tepung beras. beras. Yang biasa bukan pulut. If pulut, it'll be like roti canai. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna go with my second batch. So ini dah panas. So Jasmine tak akan letak minyak and I'm so demotivated sebab I tak tahu macam I think what the first one macam but it's nice. So I don't know what's going to be the second one. So I tak letak minyak sebab I don't want it to be oily. Tapi sebab I guna non-stick frying pan. I think it will work. Okay. Ooh, like a love sign. Okay. Should I add more? It definitely can. But you have to make it thinner. It's too thick. Huh? Are you how now? Ah? Oh my god. <laughs> so, sekarang ni nak tunggu bubble ni. Okay. So, I could see some bubbles, so I nak letak my durian. So, I'm gonna put all the durian in. That was for you, Doreen. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna put the durian. Okay. Ah. Jadi lah. Hmm. I can't sit there for that jadi. Guys, susah pun nak buat pancake. Ada lama tak buat pancake. Pancake. Kau tak tahu kalau jadi ke tak. Kalau sedap sedap. Hmm. Try flip it. Forward, yes. Forward now. Ah. Hmm. So you guys, please jangan guna pulut punya tepung eh. Kadang-kadang kita patut ikut resipi apa yang orang kata. Should I do this? No lah, later you will not cook. Oh, okay. Mm. Leave it like half, full half. That's sweet. Later. So, kakak kakak is 
look at my new my apa I punya durian apom. Nampak dia betul-betul macam roti canai you guys. But I think is this cooked? Can I put it onto the yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the new durian roti canai. Yeah. So this is it. So we're going to taste our durian punya apom. Kita punya durian apom untuk hari ini. So tak tahu kalau sedap ke tak. I don't know. I'm so scared. Um, tapi luckily uh, kawan I setia bersama dengan I untuk menempuhi cabaran merasai masakan first time yang kemungkinannya masak-masak uh, apa yang tak jadi eh. Masak-masak tak jadi punya tu. <laughs> so, okay. We're gonna go and taste it now. Hmm. Why? I think this is something that Godom Ramsay will complain. Shoot. Yes. Okay. Romantic dinner. More like a up dinner. Go. Actually, it's not bad. Cuma, dia punya texture, texture pancake tu terlalu orang kata kenyal eh. Um, it's too macam arah tu sebab aku dah tepung pulut kot. So, but, it's actually quite good. Like, you boleh taste dia punya coconut and then you boleh taste dia punya durian and dia punya durian tak, dia punya bau dengan rasa tak kuat sangat. So, it's actually quite good. So, now, I'm going to challenge Doreen untuk try masakan durian apa. So, sekarang ni Doreen nak cuba kita punya masakan. It looks scary to be honest. It looks... Hmm... You already have to eat this? Just eat it! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay? Is it nice? The durian tastes good. Okay. But the pancake itself like... Serious lah, macam plastic lah. Hey! Okay. Kosong sampai sepuluh apa rating Doreen? Hmm. Since you are my friend, no, no, no. Like, like let's say if you were to taste it at a kedai. Okay, fine. Um, three. Huh? Three? Yes. Because honestly, the taste is there. It's just the texture. Um, dia rasa sedap, tapi cuma tu texture macam plastik lah. Hmm. Okay, Kenya. Okay. Hmm. Cool. So anyway, um. Kita dah habis memasak Jasmine punya durian apung untuk hari ini. And um, Doreen bagi markah 3 per 10 untuk rating kita punya rasa, you know, for our durian apung. Um, I'm gonna give 4. <laughs> I'm gonna give 4. Uh, so, that's it. Um, kalau korang nak cuba, actually it's quite easy uh, untuk cuba. Cuma, okay, jangan letak tepung beras pulut. So, I rasa tepung gandum, I think tepung gandum dah cukup kan? Just the plain flour, right? That's cukup. So, tepung gandum dah cukup dah. Uh, supaya tekstur tak kenyal. Supaya dia macam ada tekstur pancake. And then, um, yeah. So, that's it. Um, if you guys want me to share anything, just let me know in the comment punya ruangan. Kau ruangan comment. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share and comment. Dia sendiri makan. Siap. Oi, Doreen. Hmm? Nice lah. No, the durian is nice. See, it's not bad. She never finished it. Wait, are you filming? Huh? Wait. Trap the honey.